Mick Doohan's two-wheeled attack on Eastern Creek today was as strong as yesterday's verbal onslaught. Doohan slammed officials for the slippery condition of the track, rating it as his main rival in tomorrow's season opening Grand Prix. Today he attacked the enemy with cool, confident aggression. He really is trying it around, isn't he? In morning practice, the Australian world champion knocked half a second off his own lap record, clocking 1 minute 30.89. It didn't take him long to warm up his Honda in the afternoon's qualifying. Lifts it up, hurls it down the straight. Doohan consistently went under his old mark, clocking 130s for the 3.9 kilometre lap and the only rider to do so. Four others crashed out of the hour-long session. Two's for the big one now, the bike rolling and rolling and rolling. Two's up OK. Well, oh, there's somebody off up the top there. It's bike number eight. Sean Emmett, British rider. That is Sean Emmett's replay, is it? No, it's not. It's someone new. So, coming down like Jenkins at the moment, seems OK, visors up, Catalora, oh, Catalora, Catalora, it's the door, just flicked him off. Italy's Luca Catalora was uninjured and maintained his third qualifying position. Doohan secured pole with the fastest lap time of 130.58. Fellow Australian Darrell Beatty was 0.6 of a second behind and also looking the picture of confidence. The Queenslander obviously well settled with his new Lucky Strike Suzuki team. Japan's Norofumi Abe was fourth fastest qualifier, knocking 1993 world champion Kevin Schwantz off the front row. In the 250cc's Italian world champion Mad Max Biaggi one pole. While in the 125s, Gary McCoy topped off a great day for the Aussies, qualifying third fastest.